Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Jimmy from Primer Is Best, and I uh, got my '66 Chevy truck sitting out here, and uh, got some plans for it today, or plans for me to do to it today. Got my little radio out here. It plays oldies but goodies. Of course, I can't play them while I'm videoing, or I get dinged by YouTube, whatever that is. You know, I've already had a couple. If you ever send me a video of your car or truck that you are working on, remember, please, no music. I've had to tell a couple of folks that send me videos. First of all, let me let me start out by saying, you're pro if you're new to the channel, you're probably not aware. But I have a little segment called PIBs. That stands for Primer is Best, which is what you're watching now. PIB, Subscriber Rides. And... Uh, you know, you can walk around your car or truck, you know, preferably two to three minutes long. And the file will be short enough, small enough that you can send it to me. Okay, let me mention this before I forget it. You can send me a video of your car or truck to Primer It Is Best at Comcast.net, Facebook Messenger Primer It Is Best, or Instagram Messenger Primer It Is Best. My wife and I will, you know, get it ready to go on YouTube and uh, I will let you know when I post it PIB subscriber rides whatever you send me and uh, you know you can show your family or, or friends family and friends I should say and anyone else you know your co-workers you know whatever that hey this is what I'm working on and it's on YouTube check it out let me know what you think or even relatives that are far away you know maybe even live in another country you know, you can send them a video through YouTube uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, Primer is Best, PIBs, Subscriber Rides. Please, no music, like I said, no foul language, and, uh, you know, just make the video two or three minutes long. This is very important. Please listen to what I'm going to tell you. This is a, so important. Turn your phone sideways, sideways. And it makes a full screen like you're watching now. Like you're eating a hamburger, one of my YouTube subscribers said, suggested. Tell folks to turn it like you're eating a hamburger, not a hot dog, a hamburger. So send me a video and I'll be happy to put it on as long as, as, long as there's no foul language or music. Two to three minutes long, you know, open up the hood or lack of hood. It doesn't have to be a running vehicle. It can be a project. It can be one you just finished. It can be... Something you found out in the woods that you thought I might like because that's what I'm into. Stuff that's been neglected that nobody else wants. That's my channel. <laughs> uh, oh, Anyway, I got started on that because of the... I showed you my radio, didn't I? Today's video, I'm, I'm going to attempt... Uh, this is... If you're new to the channel, always try to act like you're new to the channel. Hoping that you will subscribe to Primer It Is Best, okay? This is a 66 Chevy truck, factory short bed, but it's sitting on a 72 Chevy C10 truck frame. So it's five lug, and it's already got disc brakes. But there's still a lot of work to be done to it. We are rattle can painting the truck, and the days are getting warmer here in East Tennessee where I live, and are getting longer. So hopefully, hopefully soon, I'll be able to finish rattle can painting this truck hopefully so uh and i don't know when you're seeing this video but anyway uh here's what i'm my plans are today and i hope i can do this without i don't want to mess this up i'm going to attempt notice i said attempt to take this rubber mat out take all this stuff out i haven't cleaned the insides whatsoever but I was wanting to take the rubber mat out. Maybe do a little bit of cleaning in here. Because it's never been cleaned since my wife and I has had it. And my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., is not here now. She's helping a friend. Uh, she's gone to help a friend that's trying to set up a wedding or something. Something like that. I'm not really, you know. Getting stuff ready for a wedding, I believe is what she said. So, she's helping a friend. Which is good. I mean, I, I can do this. So, I'm going to take all my stuff out of here, all the stuff that I have gathered up, which is quite a bit. And uh, I guess I'll set it on the porch over here just to get it out of the way. 
and uh, you're probably asking yourself well Jimmy why do you put all your stuff in the truck well <laughs> oh boy if you just knew me I cannot remember where I set stuff I cannot I, I just I'm, sh I'm short term you know and a lot of times I walk into a room and I'm thinking what did I walk in here for so I'm going to set all this stuff out and uh, try not to bore y'all so much and uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to take this rubber mat out. If it looks like I'm going to, my wife told me to be extremely careful with this rubber mat. She said, I've already cleaned it, and I'm not sure that maybe I should just leave it in there, but we'll see how it goes. So, uh, you know, I might try to do the best I can on the truck. Like I said, I haven't cleaned the insides whatsoever. whatsoever. My wife, if you've been watching my videos, remember she took a leaf blower and blew out back and forth back and forth on this truck so it got everything up under the seat and everything else you know and blew it out which i was grateful for because i was going to vacuum the truck but my wife mrs pib is a lot smarter than i am <laughs> she just is and why she married me i had not I, I don't have a clue but i'm glad she did the lord had something to do with that i get i suspect so uh let's get busy i'm gonna take all this stuff out and we'll see what we can get into okay hang in there guys Okay, guys, I'm I'm sorry for the wind. The wind's blowing. It's probably 61 or 62 degrees out here. It's finally finally getting warm. Uh, I've got a little change in plans, and I'm going to show you why. Because I always tell everything that I find on an old truck. Okay, I was going to take this mat out, and uh, I got me some of uh, And you know what, guys? This is the original mat that was in this truck, this rubber mat and the gas pedal and uh you know it, it's all original to this truck and uh i got me some black duct tape it's got some splits right here and i'm going to duct tape the back of it where maybe it'll be a little bit more stable but i'm not going to take the rubber mat out today the reason i oh I, yeah i gotta do this too put some tape just to make it more strong i mean it is it's been in here 58 years. That's how old the truck is. 58 years old. So, I mean, uh, pretty old truck. I was going to show you some things, you know, as I'm lifting this up, you can see some of the dirt and stuff, which I'm not worried about that. But let me see if I can scoot this without uh, messing it up too bad. Hopefully. I got a hole right there. And right here, I'm going to see if Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop, when he gets the truck to put exhaust and everything, you know, the bumpers and everything on it, if he'll just put a little patch. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to match. It's not going to Meekum Auctions or Barrett Jackson. Nothing like that. So I'm just going to see if he'll do a little patch. There might be some more under here, but honestly, I just don't see it. It's just typical spots. For these old trucks like i said it's 58 years old and uh when i'm just going to take this rubber mat out one time when i get over when tim dixon at gas x chop shop calls me you can find tim dixon at gas x chop shop if you type uh, go to facebook type in gas x chop shop gas x a x e gas x chop shop and you'll see some of the amazing stuff that tim does one of my best friends, him and GM 1038 and Charlie and Waylon and Corey. And I just, oh my goodness, I'm just so blessed with some really, really good friends. Anyway, I'll see if Tim will fix that. And like I said, the more I take this out, the more I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. Let's look at the other side. I'll tell y'all stuff like that. I'll tell you everything about whatever I have. I'm not going to mislead anybody, but one of these days... One of these days, somebody might, else might wind up at this truck, and I want to tell everything. There's no hiding anything when it comes to me. I'm going to tell you the good and the bad, but I'm telling you, this, oh, oh my knees. Sorry, guys. I got bad knees, and sometimes it hurts to get down on some things. Let me see if I can ease this up. See what I mean about the mat? I just, oh my goodness, I just don't want to mess it up. Let's see. 
Hey, somebody's doing a little work out right there, looks like. That's okay. I was gonna just kind of check and see. Somebody's done a little work prior to me getting it. And that's okay. Somebody cared enough about the truck. Oh, yeah, I was gonna show you this. There's a hole right there. I'll see if Tim can, you know, cut this out, maybe put a little patch in it. it it's He can do it underneath or on top. I really don't care. Get out some of this stuff here, but oh my gosh. Everything else appears to be good. I mean, it, I believe somebody's been here before, but you know, like I said, it's an old truck. I, you know, of course, somebody's going to be here before, but at least they cared enough about the truck to, you know, to do something about it. So, uh, I'm trying to get some of this garbage out of here, but it, oh my goodness, I wonder what that <laughs> me. This nut and I match. I'm joking. But yeah, this nut and I match. But anyway, it's okay. I, I don't mind, honestly. It's just, a, it, this is just, like I said, a 58 year old truck. I'm just going to get some, like I said, that black duct tape and I'm going to put some underneath some of these cracks where it won't split when we do take the mat out. Or, you know, if Tim wants to weld underneath it, you know, and put some kind of, I don't know. Tim Tim's an amazing guy. And one of my best friends, like I said, so it won't take him but just a minute, I don't think, to to do everything. Yep, somebody's been here before. So, done a little work here. That's okay. That's okay. If it, if it needs something. I, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm not going for perfection. I'm just trying to make something look decent. This is what this channel is, Primer is Best, and my second YouTube channel, Man on a Budget. It's just trying to make something look decent. It, I'm not going for perfection. I don't want perfection. I've had perfection when it comes to cars and trucks. I've had some really, really uh, nice vehicles in my lifetime. And uh, I tell you guys, I, I'm being straight up with you, telling you the truth. I didn't have any fun with them because I scared I was going to, you know, have a wreck or something. And it seemed like, seemed like people pulled out in front of me and stuff when I had really nice cars and trucks. And I don't really have that happen on, <laughs> on stuff like this. But, yeah, I, I'm glad somebody fool enough with the truck. The truck, this truck doesn't sit outside. I'll tell you this one more time, or again. If you're new to the channel, this truck, when I bought it, had set for 17 years in one fella's garage. And he bought this truck from the guy that had it sitting in his garage for I don't know how many years. I really don't know how many years. So this truck, for a long time in its life, it's set in a garage, in a barn, in a garage, whatever. But uh, pretty much out of the weather. So, and, you know, You've probably seen this. Somebody's somebody was fixing it up. Like I like I said before, I try to read the story on an old truck or an old car. You know, try to figure out what kind of life has it had that it's had. And uh, you know, I think some when you look at the truck and b before we painted it, it was all different colors. The hood, you know, and this this is black. This is this color, and of course, I mean. You got teal. I know I've told y'all this before. And if memory serves me correctly, before we painted this bed, it, I think it was red or orange, whatever. It was just, it's, it's just a piece together old truck. Here it is 2024 and it's still here. Not many trucks can claim that little reward. So uh, anyway, well, I'm gonna get me some tape and quit talking so much and get busy and then i'm going to start cleaning the insides of the truck like the dash and, and and stuff like that i mean i'm just trying to make it look decent nothing nothing special you know i did have a truck go to mecham auctions now to think about it it was a remember remember that 78 gmc truck i had went by the name of shannon if you're not familiar with it go to uh Primer is best. 
and type in, uh, you know, do a search, that little magnifying glass, what I think that's what it is. Uh, you know, type in 1978 GMC truck, uh, Shannon, S-H-A-N-N-O-N. And uh, my wife and I, you know, we rattle can painted it, put penetral on it, you know, had it lowered, put wheels and stuff on it. That was a sharp little old truck. Factory bucket seat with console truck. So, I mean, uh, you know, I'm really honored that one of my trucks that was here in this driveway, that when you watch the beginning of the videos on Shannon, you'll see how far it come. It come a long way. But uh, anyway, I'm going to, doctor up this mat a little bit and uh then i'll get started on the insides i'm going to try to clean up some of this stuff here and i don't mean to bore you so let's get busy guys i'll hush and get i'll get right back with you hang in there guys okay guys y'all's probably laughing but uh got me some duct tape put it on both sides so i put it up underneath on the rubber floor mat that's what i'm talking about uh and I'll put it up here too, just just to try to make it stronger. I know, I know that you can buy new rubber floor mats, but I prefer to try to salvage anything I can, you know, that's cosmetic. When it comes to mechanical stuff, give me the new, give me the best, you know, uh, you know, new brake lines and everything that's been done on this truck, new gas tank, all this stuff's all brand new. But when it comes to cosmetic stuff, you know, I'm in the patina style, shop truck, farm truck, found in the woods, dead, fixing to be pushed off in the ditch. I've had all those scenarios, and I try to salvage. I, I had a 67 GMC truck, uh, you know, small back glass and all that, and it had a rubber mat in it. And when I got done with it, I mean, it was, it was kind of, it lost, you know, being... Uh, flexible and stuff too and uh, you know i just kind of doctored it up and made it look decent you know if you're like me and you're on a budget you know and you can't afford to take something you know to you don't have a lot of money to 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 do a lot of things with you know so that's this is my channel if you're like me you might want to subscribe so uh to the channel primer is best so what i'm going to do now is uh like i said i'm trying to make things look decent uh i'm going to try to clean up the dash and stuff best i can i got me some turtle wax and uh some wean all stuff i'm going to try to make some of this stuff go away and look better maybe clean up some of this rust if it'll come off i'm going to do my best and uh you know just try to make everything look decent look clean you know, you can have an old car or an old truck. And, uh, you know, if it looks clean, to me, it looks expensive. You know, that's just me. So, uh, anyway, I've done the other side over there, too. Oh, drop my paint can. That's not good. Oh, I'm going to be using this right here, too, by the way. This is from our local co-op store. Indoor-outdoor paint. That's what I painted underneath uh, this truck with. I don't use rubberized coating you know it looks like you're trying to hide something i am not trying to hide anything you know all this is just that flat black paint just to make it look decent make it look decent you know i painted all up and under this truck on the frame and everything so all right enough said on that we got a couple of days or at least at least one day maybe maybe two according to the weather person and uh you know i'm i'm trying to work myself in a position it's too windy it's too cool to paint today but i'm trying to work myself in a position where i can paint the outside of this truck so uh that's my whole goal so today's a day i can work on the inside so let's get busy and uh one more time i'll show you what this kind of looks like here and uh We'll go from there. I'm going to be painting the pedals and all this other stuff later. But first, I'm going to start here, work my way down. I've already done all the glass. I'm going to work myself down here, and uh, we'll go from there. Hang in there with me, guys, okay? I appreciate it. Okay, guys, just to show you what I'm doing, I got me some. Uh... Well, I'll get it here in a minute. Uh, turtle wax. 
paste. Here's the dash. I'm going to put some turtle wax on it and try to make it uh, shine a little bit. You know, just try to just try to clean it up just a little. I just thought I'd show you this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It generally does pretty good for me, but you know we'll see. And uh, by the way, I went to the. I I I've been watching. I know I've told you all this before. I've been watching a guy called Gibson sixty three on YouTube. Gibson, G I B. S O N 63. And uh, he pointed out the right paint code for this. So I'll have to go to the auto parts store. It's kind of special kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, I might do a little bit of painting on a few things. You know, I, like I said before, I'm what the outside of the truck is almond gloss. And I'm thinking about taping all this off and painting this part in here almond gloss. I don't know yet. It'll come to me when it comes to me. But in the meantime, let's stay focused. Or talking to myself. My name's Jimmy. Jimmy, stay focused. Let's get started on this. Put some wax on it and we'll work our way downward. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. Hang in there with me again, guys. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, guys, I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing, okay? I got me some zero 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 four zero steel wool, and this has already been used. So I kind of save stuff like this just for situations like this. And y'all probably can't tell no difference, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Okay? And these grills are painted, and I'm just going over it, getting off some of the stuff over all these years. How many years did I say? 58. I think 58 years what I said. Not real good at math. I got off all that crud. Whatever that was, it was stuck on there. The heat and the defrost and all that stuff work on this truck. It's got a new heater core and uh, stuff like that. You know, I'm just one of those kind of guys. I mean, I can see. Y'all probably can't tell no difference, but I'm telling you. It's clean, and, uh, you know, you do this at your own discretion. Every time I mention steel wool on windows or something like I clean these with, you know, some folks freak out and get me down the road. So, <laughs> go figure. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing, and at the same time, yeah. Just kind of going over some of the little bit of the chrome here. It's not a, it's not bad. It's just been sitting for a long time, and uh, you know, just trying to make things look the best we can. Every time I find stuff, I put it in that ashtray. So hard to believe. Back in the day, you know, you watch some of these old TV shows like uh, I don't know you know westerns or or them old black and white uh perry masons and stuff hey i better i'll move i'll move papa here in a minute grandpa's i mean so uh and everybody smoked you know all all vehicles had an ashtray that was the thing back in the day doing things you shouldn't be doing so uh i just thought i'd show you what i'm doing Okay, I'm going to continue on, and I'm going to let y'all rest for just a minute, but stay tuned. Don't go away. Hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, I'm kind of cleaning up some of this mess up here. Well, probably help if I showed you what I'm doing. But it's kind of, I don't know, greasy or something. I'm not really sure, but it's coming off with this steel wool. Like I said, I've, I've already used this steel wool on other things, so it's not as strong as what you might think. If you hear something rattling at that door, I didn't shut it good. When, it, when I got the door shut, because the wind's blowing it, my door shut, and uh, it's hot in here. Oh my goodness. But it's kind of cool outside. So that's part of spring here in East Tennessee. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. And I'll show you this too while I got it on my mind. 
make sure that door latched a little better, I think. Yep. I don't mean to bore you to death, I really don't, but... Look how shiny the dash is, I mean, stained, I mean, you know, it's, what I, how old I say, 58 years old, 58 years old, this truck is, but look, I mean, you can tell the shine, I don't want it real shiny, because it'll make a glare on the windshield, and uh, it's kind of hard to drive like that, you know, but, uh, I gotta tell you, it feel besides it being hot, it feels so good. And I cleaned up all this best I could. There's a little thing right here. You probably noticed this right here on the glove box. Uh, you know the the fancy model said Chevrolet, so I might get me one of them. I think I think I've seen one somewhere, and uh, I might see if I can buy that and put it on here and just where it says Chevrolet. I just think it looks good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's clean. I mean, you can tell it. I mean, whew, it's it's slick. The radio, the radio, the hole had been cut out when I got the truck. So I asked my friend GM1038, you need to subscribe to his channel, GM1038. His name's Brian. I asked him just to put a radio in here. It does come on. But I don't have no speakers run to it yet. And Brian is going to do some more work on this truck. I think he just needed a little bit of a break. I think he was wanting to work on his own stuff for a while, and that's fine. And he got this truck, uh, excuse me, he got this truck to the point, that, you know, that I, my wife and I, Mrs. P.I.B., could play with it, you know, paint and all this other stuff. But uh, I think he's going to do a few more things to it. And, uh, you know, here, there, and everywhere, you know. Uh, the stuff that he's good at. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a body man. I, I'm just, I'm just a person that uh, <laughs> that I like old cars and old trucks, and I do the best I can to try to make them look decent. That's it. Let's just look decent. I don't want perfection. I just want decent. So I, I was watching a. Let me tell you this real quick. I don't mean to bore you, but. My wife and I was watching Jeopardy the other night, just by pure coincidence, and they were talking about a, they had a, you know, segment, you know, they have all those things you can pick from, and they was talking about all automotive stuff, and, uh, you know, of course, they have three contestants, and I was surprised, you know, how much my wife knew, you know, uh, Mrs. P.I.B., of course, you know, I, I knew too, but, uh, for instance, lug nuts. Nobody knew what lug nuts were. Well, one person did. I got. I take that back. One person did know what lug nuts was. And uh, but I mean, it's just general general questions. But you you know, uh, what do you use to you know change a tire? Well, they didn't know. You know, of course, one person did, and he kept picking that category because he was getting all the money. So. Uh, Hooray for him. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I'm going to check into getting that Chevrolet thing. But I just wanted to show you. I mean, you y'all can't tell no difference. I know. You can't. And let me show you this real quick, too. If you if you move around, if you get a no car or a no truck, you notice things. You notice things. And uh, stupid whispers trying to get out of here. I'll have to... Knock him in the head if I can get a hold of him. Uh, man, those things. Those things will get you. Those red wasps. Man, and I tell you what, they hurt. They just keep right on stinging. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing here. I noticed this too. Y'all might have already. But you see this? Sorry for my dirty fingers, but I'm working. See where this is rubbed? I think the ignition, which this is not the original ignition, by the way. I think it's supposed to be here where the lighter's at. Because see where the keys were rubbing? You know, on all, on all my old trucks, you know, I always put a little bit of patina. Well, I won't get to on this one. Unless I, maybe, I don't know. But, uh. 
you know, on my square bodies, you know, the door locks say like right here, I always make a little spot just like that one is, you know, where the keys rub, where it looks like it's never been painted. Anyway, enough talking. More work, less talk. So, uh, that's what they say on the radio station. Or, yeah. Anyway, hang in there with me again, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, just to show you what I'm doing. I kind of cleaned up my tack a little bit. It's not perfect, but I'm not done yet. I, I, I just thought I'd tell you. Anyway, and i done this. Trying not to bore y'all to death. This thing was pretty grimy. It's seen better days, but hey, it looks pretty decent once I put it back on here. Right now, I'm kind of cleaning the steering wheel itself. So I've went and got me another, there it is, another piece of a steel wool, a, a new piece. And uh, I'm just kind of going over the steering wheel. See all this grime and stuff like that? Can you see that? Well, I can't hold the steering wheel and do this too, but I just thought I'd show you. It's coming right off. And uh, like I said, if you, oh yeah, that looks much better. Just getting a lot of this stuff off. Let's see, got to get a little bit more car wax here. You know, I'm just kind of, what a difference. Can you tell the difference? I mean, just, I don't know. You know, I just like, I like doing stuff my, myself and you know trying to make stuff look the best I can without spending you know a lot of money and uh, you know it keeps me occupied and out of trouble so and I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing a lot of people what's got me doing this telling y'all this is seems like a lot of people scared to death of steel wool don't be scared just get you some Four zero steel wool and go to town. I mean, you like I said, I saved my old pieces too, but just because to get a feel for how much you know, if I need to go with a coarser steel wool or not. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, and uh, I, I hope I'm not boring you to death. So hang in there with me again, guys. About all I can say. I'll try to show you what it looks like. I'm going to try to get all this stuff off. It, best that I can. And clean the steering wheel too. Like I said, I'm working my way down. I, I kind of got the dash. I still want to do some cleaning up around here. But for the most part, I, you know, I'm kind of making some headway. And I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Hang in there with me again, guys. I sure do appreciate y'all. See you in just a minute. Okay, guys, I got it cleaned up about as good as I'm going to get it. All the grime, you know, from dirty hands over the years and stuff, is gone. The steering wheel's clean. Cleaned up everything I could. Everything's pretty shiny. I mean, it's got some uh, pits and stuff, you know, from rust issues and stuff. You know, it's it's an old truck. And that's fine. I, it tells a story. I, I love I love old cars and old trucks. I cleaned all this up best I could. All in here. And uh, not going to believe this because you can't tell no difference. But I got my steel wool and I went over the whole top. All the way around everywhere with the steel wool. Just, just to knock down the dust. And, uh, you know, uh, all, the, all the grime, you know, from over the years from what this truck has done I'm really liking this truck and uh, I, I think it's going to be it's already a good truck I just need to get exhaust and a few things done sounds like somebody's got one of those uh, homemade airplanes if you hear something here it comes I'm going to see if I can show it to you okay kind of unusual After it gets past our trees, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Well, if I can find it, there it is. Whew. 
Whew, boy, I tell you what, they're braver than I am. That little old engine quits. You're going straight down. But anyway, hopefully the Lord will watch over them and keep them safe. Uh, let me show you this. My wife and I belong to AAA. We have for years. And uh, we've used them a lot. Towing vehicles and stuff. Kind of nice to have. But I noticed, uh, you know, I notice things sometimes. And, uh, you know, I noticed a lot of old folks. I guess I'm in that category now, aren't I? Old folks, they get the little sticker, put it on the rear view mirror. I'm trying to show it to you. It's $2,000 reward for, I forgot what it said, recovery or stealing or something. I don't know. Anyway, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, people used to do that, stick them on the rear view mirror. So, you, you know, it's pretty visible. You know, you're supposed to stick all this. Anyway, I thought, well, this is an old vehicle, 58 years old. So it's appropriate, I think. I just thought I'd do that just for uh, kicks and giggles, I guess. I'm going to clean this seat now. It, the, the seat's already cleaned. My wife done has already cleaned it. If you've been watching the videos on this old truck, boy, that thing is bright when you get it in the sun. But, uh, I'm going to I'm going to put some moisture in this seat and I'll show you what I'm doing with the seat because like I said I think this seat has survived because uh it's been sitting in a garage so you know it's not split the springs are a little weak on the driver's side I'll say that but uh you know it's not ripped or torn or anything so I'm going to get me some stuff, and I'll show you what it is here in just a minute. We'll put it on the seat. I'm just going to give it some moisture so it won't crack when it's sitting out here in the sun because it gets hot here in East Tennessee. And uh, when the sun's at full full steam ahead, while, you know, stuff gets brittle, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just real proud of how the dash turns out and the steering wheel. Oh, my goodness. looks It just looks so good. And I... It's kind of like doing the windows. I, I I don't wake up in the mornings thinking, oh boy, I hope I get to clean windows. I hope I get to clean windows. I hate cleaning windows. I, I don't really enjoy cleaning the dash, but it needed to be done. And uh, it's 67 degrees out here. When it gets above 70 and I have a good start on the day, I'm going to start painting this truck. So uh, let me go get stuff to do the seats. And then I've got my paint can sitting on the hood. I guess you noticed that. I'm going to try to, you know, do a little painting in here and make things look just the best I can on the cheap. Any, I do stuff that anybody can do. So hang in there, guys. I'll show you what I'm using. Okay, guys, here's what I'm using. Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. Somebody's going to probably freak out about that. But I've used this for years. I've used it on my tires. I, I use it on everything. It gives it moisture. And it makes this, it's going to make this seat look good, good as it possibly can. I get a paper towel. Like I said, my wife's already scrubbed this seat, you know, using the cleaning products, whatever she used at the time that day she was helping me. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this on this paper towel and I'm just going to rub it in and keep rubbing it in. Let it get some moisture. I don't want this seat, to, you know, the material to split or anything. It's not a bad seat. So, uh, it's kind of unusual for me to have a seat this nice. So, it's what I'm going to use. And let me get some on this paper towel. Okay, here we go, guys. Now, the sun is, sun, excuse me, the sun is shining on this seat. And it is hot. It is black. It is hot. So, uh, it's going to make the seat a little bit. Well, it's going to make the seat. You wouldn't believe how hot this seat is. And I probably would be good if I showed you what I was doing. I apologize. This will eventually wear off. And it's going to leave. It's just leaving moisture in the seat. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't have to. Somebody's always, you're not doing it right. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, like I said before, it's a, 
it's my truck. So this is what I always do. So no big deal. I'm just massaging it in, giving it some moisture so it doesn't get brittle. You know, I wish it wasn't in the sun, but tis what it is. Because this sure does get hot. That guy. Woo -woo, burning my fingers. But it's okay. I'd rather have this as winter time anytime. So, like I said, I'll, I'll, after this sits for a while, I'll get a dry paper towel and I'll go over the seat and, uh, oh, dad, damn, it's hot. And, uh, get any excess off. I put it on the leather seats on that cat eye truck and it makes it, uh, pliable you know it doesn't it protects it. it it does a good job and I mean you know there's other uses for other products you know besides what they claim to be and like I said you don't have to do this if you don't want to if you're scared don't do it I'm not suggesting that you do I'm just showing you what I am doing so you get the gist of it I'm going to Get on this seat and get it all done, and uh, that way I can get started painting. So hang in there, guys, okay? Don't leave me. Not now. <laughs> okay, guys, I got the seat all covered, and I'm going to let it sit here for a little while while I'm painting the floor mat and the pedals and stuff like that. Then I'll get a paper towel and uh, take the excess off. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean... It's going to be a little bit slicky for a while, but I'm giving it moisture. I do not want this to crack. You know, that's that's what happens to a lot of seat covers. They they don't that they, they're not pliable anymore. And uh, yeah, I know I can buy a new seat cover and stuff, but why? Why? This one's just fine. Uh, well, I got my paint can over there, don't I? Let me show you what I'm going to be doing. Nothing nothing extravagant. Just kind of making the truck look, look the best I can on a budget. Going to be covering up stuff like that. And uh, going over this floor mat. And like I said, the pedals. Just to make it look decent. And then I'll, I'm going to try to find me some uh, floor mats to go in this truck. Just to protect this rubber mat the best that I can. So, uh, you know, I'm still using this stuff right here in case you forgot. Flat black. Indoor, outdoor, blah, blah, blah. So, and, oh, I, I meant to tell you this too. Uh, the, the paint color, earlier in the video, I done forgot what I said or what I done. Earlier in the video, I said I was going to try to uh, paint this right here. I, I don't know if I should paint this down here too or just leave it alone. Y'all's going to think I'm crazy, but I like this look. I like this look. Now, I have some brand new armrests I'm going to put on this truck. And uh, I'm assuming that they'll probably go somewhere in this vicinity. But that's just cool, like where your arms rub. And see, you can tell the passenger side didn't have as much wear on it as the driver's side. I, it just tells a story. I love stories. I love these old trucks and these old cars. And they tell a story. And... Uh, you know about what kind of life they had and uh boy if you could have the hear the conversations that were in this truck in 1966 brand new all the conversations that were said wouldn't you love to be able to hear some of them now like first man on the moon in 1969 you know just there's no telling what was said in this truck and uh anyway i that's just because i'm a nut i'm a nut i know i am and yeah. But I just love to keep things like they are, so to speak. I mean, mechanically new, all that other kind of stuff, you know. But if I can preserve, you know, some of the, I don't want to say heritage, but some of the things that's happened to this, you know, like this old truck or any of my old trucks, I try to, unless they're just completely demolished, you know, I try to, I try to preserve as much as I can. So, uh. I'm going to shake this can up, and I just want to show you what it looked like now. And we'll see what it looks like when I when I get done it. It's 
I'm hoping it'll make a big improvement, but now we'll see. I haven't painted, excuse me, I have not painted in a while, so i got to get my mojo on, and hopefully I'll do good. But, uh, yeah, hang in there with me again, guys. I sure do appreciate y'all staying with me, okay? I appreciate it a lot. Hang right in there. Okay, guys, just to show you what I'm doing, I've, I've stopped right here. I'm still rattle can painting, and I probably better shake that up a little bit. Uh, fix and do this. I've been I've done emergency brake. I've done the seat hinge flat black. It's fine. Um, fix and do this. I'll show you the other side real quick. Remember, I'm just trying to make it look decent. Just to look decent. I've done this side. I've done my uh, cold air vent. And uh, anyway, I got all this done. It looks clean. It looks clean. It's not the best job, but oh my goodness, it's so much better than what it was. So, uh, I'll show you a little bit if I can of what I'm doing, but it's kind of hard to hold this door open and and do all this too. So, check this up just a little bit more. Okay. I'll probably have to go on the other side and do the other side of the pedals the best that I can. But see, it just, I don't know, to me, if something just looks clean, you know, the best that you can, then that's great. Put a little bit more on there. Let me change hands, guys. I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing. If you decide you want to do this on your car or truck, I can kind of go to town on this, but on the edges I have to be careful because I'm not wanting to get it on the truck. I'm wanting it to look natural. These little holes here are kind of hard to, to fill up, so I'm having to go back and forth every direction if you can think of or that I can do anyway I'm starting to kind of mess up a little bit guys it's kind of hard for me to do this and hold this door open and spray paint too so but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing hope you understand hang in there with me again please see you in just a bit okay guys I, th I think I got it I, I think I did best I can I covered up my dimmer switch with some painters tape and uh course it's not perfect it's not Meekum auction or barrett jackson worthy for sure but it looks so much better and i meant to mention this uh when i end the video keep watching because i'll try to show you some uh before and after pictures and you know maybe you can decide for yourself what you think about the old truck but i think it looks much better looks pretty good uh i'm gonna let that dry uh Got the windows down on the truck trying to keep some of this paint uh, particles out of the truck so I could breathe and uh, yeah um, we'll let that dry a minute I'm gonna get me a paper towel and go over this seat and then I'm gonna try to find if, if I can find them my new floor mats I bought okay so hang in there with me again guys I, I sure do appreciate it see y'all in just a bit Okay, guys, I spent the longest time trying to figure out where I <laughs> set those floor mats, and I asked the Lord to help me, and he did. And I found them. I don't have them in yet. First, I'm going to take this rag and go over the seat. Just like this. Uh, now, if you do this on your own, do it at your own discretion. I'm not recommending anything to anybody because there's too many folks that will argue with a signpost about how bad 
or what you're doing is wrong. Why are you doing it? What are you doing? So I'm not going to do it. This rag was already dirty. I'm just showing you. But I'm giving the seed a little bit of moisture, like I said. And you know what? It'll be okay. I don't mean to make you sick. I'm just moving around quickly as I can because I know this video is very long and I apologize. I truly do. I try to show you what I'm doing, folks. You know, leave comments and say, I wish you'd show us what you're doing. Well, there you go. Let's do the other side now. This door will probably slam. Yep. Just like clockwork. I don't know if I told y'all or not, but uh, I'm sorry, my fingers is in the way. I was trying to get readjusted here. I, like I said, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but in this video anyway, but if you are new to this channel, this is the first time I've ever had a truck this body style. I've always had, you know, uh, well, no, you don't know, unless I tell you, just a bad habit, but not me saying, but I've always had, you know, like 57 Chevy trucks, 67 through 72 Chevy trucks, uh, of course, lots and lots of square bodies, and I had one OBS truck, Sam, y'all remember that one, uh, Rob Pitts from YouTube, Rabbit Cheese Cars, you might have heard of him, I think he's got a TV show on Netflix, I don't get Netflix, so I can't watch it, but he uh, bought Sam and my 62 Chevy Impala, Shannon, that I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the 75C10 truck Sky, he bought five, I can't remember all of them that he got, Let's see, Waddy, Shannon, Sam, Sky, and oh, my 07, 2007 Chevy truck, uh, Coffee, that was the name of it, Coffee, uh, he bought five vehicles from me and like i said shannon wound up being on mecham auctions which i thought was a high honor seeing we had rattle can painted it and put penetral on it like i said lowered it and put exhaust on it you know you know everything just like we're doing on this truck right here so uh but yeah i was going to say uh you know, I'm real, I'm, I'm still learning these, I'm still, excuse me, I'm still learning these trucks because I've never had one before. On square bodies, I can tell you things, you know, to look for or whatever, but on this one, I'm kind of, I'm somewhat clueless, you know, of what, of what I'm doing and, you know, what to look for or how I should, you know, blah, 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 blah. On square bodies, I can tell you a lot of places to look if you're ever looking for one, which, you know, I, I really like square bodies. And, you know, but I, I didn't have, I didn't have any parts for this truck. You know, square body stuff, you know, I have a few parts, you know, that I've saved up over the years. And, uh, you know, I just don't have anything for this truck. It was kind of all new to me. So... Anyway, I think this is going to have to do because y'all don't realize it, or maybe you do, but this is a long video and I've spent a lot of time looking for stuff and getting stuff and everything like that. So uh, let me go get my floor mats and uh, that'll be good. They're just, old, uh, they're just cheap floor mats cheapo cheapo that we caught on sale and i think i got three sets of them so i've already these are for uh you know back seat and front seat cars you know four-door cars whatever something that's got a back seat a car so i i'm not using the other floor mats of course so i'm just going to use these and uh, i'm just trying to save the the rubber mat 
best that I can. But it'll sit in there or something like that. Be good enough, I think. It's gonna have to do. Cause that's all I got. I try to catch stuff on sale, and these were on sale. They're just cheap old floor mats. But it'll kind of protect it from tearing anymore, I think. So, you know, it won't hurt it. All it's going to do is help it, right? Anyway, that's today's video, guys. I bet y'all's yawning. Some of y'all might be asleep. And <laughs> I don't blame you if you are. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to this truck. Like I said, one of these days, one of these days, somebody just might decide they want to buy this truck. And if they do, I always tell folks to look at my videos to see if it's something you're interested in. It might not be up to your standards or whatever. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to be up front. I always tell everybody, look, every time I sell a truck, I say, you know, even Rob Pitts, I said, look at the videos that I've made. You know, I start from day one and I go from there, you know, documenting somewhat, you know, on YouTube primer is best and uh you know i'll show you everything that i've done to it you know who's done what and what's been fixed and stuff like that i'm not and another thing i was going to tell you i'm not fixing every little thing on this truck i'm not i'm going to get tim to fix this if he will maybe fix this little hole a few little places i mean it it needs stuff it's an old truck it's 58 years old it's got some places on it, you know, but I, like I said, I'm in the shop. As long as it's not terrible, I'm not going to fix it. You know, it's got a few little bumps and bruises here and there. It's okay. It's okay. Remember, shop truck, farm truck, found in the woods are fixing to be pushed off into a ditch. Just little things, you know. It'll still be just fine. You know, it's got, like I said, dents. I knew that when I bought the truck. You know, but like I said, it's 58 years old. What are you going to do, right? It's not a new truck. And uh, had it been perfect, you know, a perfect body or something, I'd have had to give a lot more for it. But uh, I'm kind of into this stuff, you know. It's had a little bit here, a little bit there, you know. Patina style shop truck. Anyway, I thank y'all for hanging in there with me to the end of this video. Like I said, there'll be some pictures. I'll try to remember to do that and uh, put it on the end of the video. And maybe you might enjoy seeing before and after. I'll try to, I'll try to do that for you guys. And uh, for me too, just to prove to myself that I did a, that I did accomplish something today. I hope so. I kind of like that little. Uh, decal there kind of cool I think anyway you are watching a uh, primer is best you're watching primer is best on YouTube I guess I could show you the motor if you are new to the channel it's a 1991 Chevy truck engine that GM 1038 uh, had and put in here so uh, be sure to Check out his channel, GM1038, and subscribe to his channel because you won't miss nothing that way. Also, uh, tell him, leave a comment and say, hey, I heard about you from Primer is Best. He'll be grinning from ear to ear, <laughs> I'm sure. And don't forget to check out my buddy Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop. You can find him if you go to Facebook and type in Gas Axe Chop Shop, Gas Axe Chop Shop, Tim Dixon. You can scroll through his pictures and all that other stuff, and you can see some of the. You'll see a lot of my stuff that's been over there that Tim has fixed for me. I like I said, I am blessed with some really good friends, and uh, I'm just glad to be alive today. Uh, hope y'all's having a great day as well. Thank you for tuning into this video. My goodness, and dang things are everywhere. I don't know if I feel lucky or not. Well, I hit him, but I didn't hit him hard enough. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You're watching Primate is Best on YouTube. My name is Jimmy. 
leave me a comment let me know what you think about this old 66 and uh, i got two more trucks too at home the 78 c10 truck billy james that's the that's the name of it and my 84 chevy c10 truck left turn bill i have another one truck c10 truck that is not home yet it's a 1980 chevy c10 truck that was pretty much left for dead no motor or, or transmission and uh i now have a transmission for it and uh, i'm in the market for a good you know v8 of some kind it, it'll come around when when the lord when the lord finds one for me he'll let me know that's how it seems to work with me oh be sure to pray for others and uh Help all those in need if you can. Open a door for somebody. Tell somebody they look nice. You know, or anything. Just to make somebody feel better. That's what we're supposed to do, guys. And look what a beautiful, beautiful day the Lord has made. Isn't it awesome? Springtime in East Tennessee. So, I'm looking forward to summertime. All the leaves be on the trees. We'll have a little bit of shade now and again when you need it. And uh, I'm anxious to get started painting on this truck. So... If you want to see us paint on this truck and put Penetrol on it afterwards, uh, you might want to subscribe to the channel, Primer is Best. I also have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. And uh, I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best, and Instagram, Primer is Best. Y'all let me know what you think, and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video, guys. You won't miss nothing. If you like and subscribe, please give me a big old thumbs up. Dang, I need to get a bath. Give me a big old thumbs up, guys, and, uh, you know, I, ho I hope to hear and see from y'all in the next video. God bless each and every one of y'all. Catch you in the next one, guys. See y'all later.